There you go, Amber. Again, we'll have to watch out here. Maybe four to eight inches of snow starting tomorrow afternoon through noontime on Thursday. Okay, Randy, thank you. Did you hear that? Four to eight inches of snow. Not ready for it. Nope. I'm not ready for it either, but we're ready for this segment. Yeah. Uh, we have Dr. Katherine Nichols with us with Carmel Pediatric Dentistry. Thank you for being thank here. Thank you for having me. So I was watching you guys set up, and I'm secretly thinking, yeah, I have that in my pantry. We hear it all the I time. Have that. I have we this. Do. So talk to me about the importance then of a lot of these foods that we think, oh, they're fine, but yeah. these are like these hidden sugars, right? Yes, yes. So we all know that candy and soda and things like that yeah. cause cavities, um, but there's a lot of things lurking in our pantry that are more of hidden issues. Right. So at our practice, we really pride ourselves on education and prevention. We talk a lot to parents about what causes cavities, um, and a lot of times it falls in our bad category. Okay, let's get to the bad category because okay. it can be frustrating. I have had problems with my daughter who yeah. is now six and a half, yeah. but a couple years ago, I thought, what, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. And you know what I was told? Gummy vitamins. Yes, those play a I big part. No we hear it idea. all the time. Yes, gummy vitamins are one of those secret things that, unless they're sugar free, they have a gram or two of sugar in each one, and that's the same as a Starburst. Yeah. So it can oh, cause a Starburst. You don't even know it's happening. Goodness. Yeah. Okay, so on the bad yeah. place. Yeah, we're going to talk about really um, highly fermentable carbohydrates. Okay. The Kids are like my kids, they love to snack all day, yeah. they love all these highly fermentable carbohydrates. So uh, look in your pantries if your kids tend to get a lot of cavities, mm -hmm. things like fruit snacks, even gummy vitamins, yeah. uh, chewy granola bars, those caramelly chocolatey, um, even like goldfish, goldfish and crackers and pretzels, um, they really break down into simple sugars on their teeth. Obviously drinks as well juice with kids drink, are huge. Sure. Chocolate juice, milk? Chocolate milk, yes, yeah, same as juice. Oh. So if they're sipping on that all day long, for older kids, uh, Gatorade, Gatorade and sports drinks tend to be a big culprit. So, I know, yeah. I've heard things about that yeah. one as well. Okay, so if we have these in our pantry mm -hmm. and we are looking for something a little bit better, yeah. we go to choice. the middle one, choice. number That's two. Right. What's on here? So things that maybe still have a little bit of sugar in them, but are not quite in our bad category. Um, okay. Fresh fruits, a good old peanut butter sandwich, yogurt, um, popcorn, all of those things would be a pretty good compromise. They clean easier yeah. off the teeth. They're not quite as sticky. They okay. may have a little bit of sugar in them, so kids still love them. Okay, so that's better. Yep. But if you're really wanting to up the ante yeah. a little bit, yeah. you have another Yeah, in our for best us. category. So um, things that really have very little sugar, uh, high protein, like a veggie cup, you can put yeah. it with some dip, hard boiled eggs, a cheese and turkey roll up, uh, cheese sticks, and obviously water is obviously going to be water. our best choice for kids and adults. Right, which I want to ask you about this too because we were talking talking about sippy cups and bottles, how that can have an effect on kids' teeth as well. And I asked, is it that sucking motion? And you're saying, no, 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 it, it doesn't matter. It's what's in it. It's what's in it. That's right. If it's just water in your bottle or sippy cup, you're going to be good to go. It's uh, the chocolate milk. Even the white milk can really start to soak in there the teeth if they're taking it all night long. Um, yeah. Even if we water down our juice, that's still that frequency of the sugar all day long can The frequency of them picking mm -hmm. it up. Can and wreak havoc on our teeth. Exactly. Okay. And so we were told, I know, to... I don't want to say toss that bottle, yeah. but introduce the wean. sippy cup around one. Yeah, wean from that bottle around age one. Most pediatricians uh -huh. are recommending that. And you also say get them into the dentist yes. at an early age, That's which right. when when I had my first one, yeah. I didn't realize I'm like that yeah. early, but yes. you hear that as well. Yes, the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, as well as the American Dental Association and the Academy of Pediatrics all yeah. recommend that children see the dentist by their first birthday, okay. which is shocking to some parents, but it's all about education and prevention, trying to prevent those cavities before they right, start. Right, because I feel like that stuff sneaks up on you and you're thinking, I had no idea they had a cavity. Their right. teeth looked fine. Yes, we really and pride ourselves in our office on being moms and being see. real with them. That's right, and, and just educating. more specifically, a pediatric dentist versus a regular dentist, that yes. can help as well. Correct. Pediatric dentistry is especially a specialty recognized by the American Dental Association. It requires an extra two to three years of residency training, usually in a children's oh, wow. hospital. So they're just more qualified to treat baby and primary teeth in particular. Also, safely or comfortably yeah. sedate your children if that would need necessary. There you go. Necessary. Kids will feel more comfortable too. And lots okay. of fun. And lots of fun. <laughs> you can learn more at CarmelKidsDentist.com. We're going to put that link on IndyStyle.tv. Thank you so much. Thanks for Thank having you. me. My mm -hmm. pleasure.